Hey there, my name is Lexi, and thank you so much for tuning in to R&B Girl Reacts. Today, this R&B girl is reacting to NBA Youngboy Expensive Taste. That one got the most requests under the Casey Talk video. I took a little break between reactions because I was a little burnt out on his music, and also I got hired to work on a movie set. And those are some intense 12 hour days, Monday through Friday, sometimes 14 hours. Um, so I was just taking a break from the reactions, <laughs> but I'm back. And um, I did Rod Wave last week. As promised, I told y'all I would do expensive taste. And now, please, you can suggest YB stuff to me. But can y'all give me like more Rod Wave and more future songs to react to? Because those are artists that everybody else is like real hyped up about and I just haven't seen the hype. So maybe y'all can convince me because um, y'all ain't been convincing me on the YB music to be very transparent with you. But today we are going to get back into YB and I'm reacting to NBA Youngboy Expensive Taste. So let's get into it. <laughs> This is from his official page. Sounds sad already. Let's see what we got. Fuck the race, I keep a card, I got the block in the middle. No, I'm gonna spend my money. I told her hit me all the way when she hit no. I'm gonna have it looking nice when she get her. Running out of band, nigga, expensive bottles from bitches. Main nigga with me and straight from the bottom, my nigga. Great nigga ain't getting no that he don't tolerate mentions. Better cover if he ever got a problem with me. Got a problem. 
Okay. All right, y'all. All right, y'all. All right, y'all. I could vibe with this one. I could vibe with this one. I'm trying to see what these little girls doing outside my window. It look like she's trying to walk in heels or something. So cute. Um, I could vibe with this one. Okay. And you know what? I follow what he's talking about. Expensive taste and he's popping his ish about, you know, how the money he make, the money he could be spending, who he could be spending it on. I think I like the line. Oh, sorry. True. He said something about um, could have 10, could have 10 bitches, but the one that he got by his side is like solid. I really, I respect that. I respect that. This one came out a year ago, so thank goodness this is something more like recent. Um, I saw on Instagram that he dropped something with Nicki Minaj because I follow Nicki Minaj. So um, let me know if y'all want me to react to that one. I actually, it's because Nicki is on it, I'll react to it. I love Nicki. But um, yeah, this was a good one. This was a good one, y'all. I can see myself riding out to this. Um only thing i could think of right only thing only thing is do all the rappers these days feel like they have to fill up every single space on a song there's like no places where he's really breathing on the song for real um there's even a, a spot or two where he's like overlapping himself i'm just thinking to myself there's no way you could do this live <laughs> unless you just stand in on stage and not moving because you will run out of breath trying to do as much as he's doing. But, um, and somebody else, something else, right? Somebody said he got multiple flows in one song. I was going to respond and be like, nah, but then y'all suggested this one. I'm like, okay, he's showing me a different flow on this one. Most of his stuff has been sounding the same to me flow wise, but this, I could clearly hear he switched it up real nice. He switched it up. So yeah. Okay. I feel like we're connecting now. This is not a sad song. He's mentioning killing niggas, whatever. Got the Glock in the middle or whatever. But he's not like focusing in on that. So we're making progress. I feel like we're connecting. And if y'all send me more stuff like this, then maybe, just maybe, I could, I could rock to some of his music. Maybe I will seek out some of his music in my free time. That's really what we fighting against. Y'all are trying to get me to listen to him outside of what y'all keep requesting. This is a good start. Casey Talk was a good start. Yeah. And drawing symbols and oh, what's that other one? Lonely Child. I like those. So those are my faves by him right now. I went ahead and gave this video a thumbs up on his page. So yeah. Um, thank y'all for this suggestion. That was NBA Youngboy Expensive Taste. Let me know in the comment section what you want me to react to next. But I'm um, please, 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 please. I'm asking y'all. We can do the NBA Young Boy, but give me some Rod Wave and give me some Futures. Like, what songs by them should I listen to? I don't know much about these guys, and I'm trying to learn more. That's the whole point of these reaction videos. Okay, what should I be listening to? But uh, yeah, like, subscribe, follow. I'm on Instagram at Lexi ATL. That's at L-E-X-C-A-T-L. Um, if you want to support me further, then become a patron. Patreon.com slash Lexi ATL. That's L-E-X-C-A-T-L. And uh, thank you for tuning in to R&B Girl Reacts. Until next time, my name is Lexi. Peace. Put my bag out the door, I'm on the way. Outside. We outside. Outside. We outside. Outside. We outside. Outside. So look